the queen of Mexican American music, boy! Bitty bitty bum bum. Bitty bitty bum bum. You guys play all her music. It's gonna make me cry. I just like seriously think of her and I'm just like, what could have been? Queen of Mexican American music, boy! Salinas! Oh, yes! This is, this is my girl. In my mind, I sing just like her. Oh my god, I love her so much. I'm seriously gonna get emotional right now. She was so huge and such a tragic story. Yeah, that's a queen right there. I love her. I don't even understand all the lyrics. Love her. It's a shame that she had to die so young. Her smile, I think, like, would captivate a lot of people. She was beloved, like, by everyone. She was the diva, 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 diva. Like, she was on top of it. Okay, let's go. Next. <laughs> I'm ready. Very 90s. Oh my god, that crap down in bass. All of these are super classic. And she could sing so good. She was making hits not only for our country, but she was making hits for Mexico. She was making hits for Latin America. And I think she was one of the first to do it out of the Latin American people. The crossover of the Spanish and the American because like she did have some huge hits that were in English too. It's very very unfortunate that she passed away. I know she could be super super successful. She could be the Mexican American Beyonce. Forbidden love. Because just jam all day with Selena, just on repeat. Amor prohibido. Fashion. The more I watch this, the more I'm like, 90s fashion is really coming back. I'm fighting back, like, tears a little bit. Oh, oh, baby. Yeah, she's so good. Growing up in, in a Hispanic family, um, just they would play it all the time. I remember like all the little cholitas or it's like, this was their song. Ain't emotional, I told you. <laughs> I just like seriously think of her and I'm just like, what could have been? There she is with a bustier. You guys play all her music and it's gonna make me cry. People fell in love with her. her dynamic personality, that smile. Gosh. Ah, uh, no, kept going. Her voice is timeless. This song used to get played at the parties all the time. The look is more glamorous in this one. Aw, oh, look how pretty she is. Her voice is just so good. Listening to her music, all you can do is just smile or cry. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, so sad. Inside, you feel that tug right now? Like, I'm feeling it right here. Wow. Mm, so sad. She had to leave so soon. 
She was so well-rounded, man. Mi parte, lo más lindo, el más grande amor. She has such a beautiful voice. It's a little bit sad, you know, remembering that she's she's gone, she's passed away. Man. Man. Who doesn't love Selena Quintanilla? I wish she was still alive so I could go see her at a concert or something. When she died, a lot of other people's dreams died as well. You think you have a million tomorrows. And you don't know if you do. There was not as much visibility as there is now for Latinos, Mexican Americans, and she was on the verge of that. And she was she was giving it like us a face, a voice. Life is so short, and you could even be on the verge of a breakthrough on top then you're gone. So we're gonna play more music in a moment, but this was the singer Selena, who many considered to be the Mexican Madonna. Yes, yes, she was. Well, Selena broke through into the mainstream and in many ways was one of the first Latin pop stars to have that much of an impact. And it was at the huge height in her popularity that unfortunately she was murdered in 1995 when she was only 23 years old. That's so devastating. So we have some more music for you to listen to from a crossover album in English. Unfortunately though, she was gone before she could make music videos for them. So these were made in tribute to her. Oh, okay. Oh gosh, am I gonna cry? Oh my gosh, who doesn't know this song? This song in general makes me cry. Aww. This song is so good. So good. I'll be holding you tight, and there's nowhere in the world I'd rather be than here. See, this is when I got familiar with her, like when this came out in a movie. And then I was like, oh, okay. Could've totally took the industry. If she was still around, man, it'd be. Oh my gosh, that was such a good song. People compare to the Madonna, the Spanish Madonna, f that. She's the Spanish Michael Jackson. Like, she was brought as a little girl on stages by her parents with her siblings. Like, it's the same story. So I, keep I love the song. I did not know that this was Selena. Aw, oh, dude, it's just like, it's like a video of her best moments. This song's an absolute classic. I wish I could hit those notes real bad. <laughs> She's too cute, man. She's too cute. She was such a good stylist person, too. Fashion, hair, everything. You just, you never know. That sucks, man. She's so good and all that talent, you know just because of this stupid person. If you don't know Selena, do yourself a favor. Like, this is American music history. Like, this happened here. Like, you need to go and listen to this. What was it like when someone so young and so talented just at the start lost her life like that? It's devastating, especially for the reasoning and how it happened. For you to confront somebody about stealing and then the person shoot you, it's like crazy. I remember like all the, the Spanish like news were just talking about Selena. The first thing I thought was, how can people be so jealous or so hateful that they're willing to, you know, off someone who's created such a fantastic like legacy. And I was in love with her at five years old. She was my first crush. I started crying. I was crying, bawling. My mom's like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It was heartbreaking for me. In 1995, I was a young mom, I just felt for her family. I knew she was very close to her family and I felt for her mother especially. I just, I, I couldn't even 
imagine. So Selena is often credited with popularizing Latin music in the United States, which at the time was mostly dominated by male artists, so she was a huge role model for young women. She was also involved in numerous philanthropic efforts. Really? I didn't know she had like a, a philanthropic like background. She was really was a great role model. What are your thoughts about her music and legacy? I think it's still huge. It opened the door for other Latin artists. It shows us that anything is possible. As a brown girl, like, like I know anything that I can dream of can become true if you really pursue it. She's a huge, just a huge role model. And even in the Latina industry, just for male, for females, just amazing. When I was little, I mean, I didn't really know who she was, just hearing her music. And as you get older, you know more and more about her and you start loving her more about the messages she would sing about or just the stuff that she's been going through and you just idolize her. I like the idea that she was out for the women and for the community and was able to break down you know, the whole was just of men dominating. She's reaching out to the young kids too and gave young girls like, you know, to look for for a role model. She got on top of the billboards in a time when, when you know, uh, Hispanic Americans were just mainly migrating into the country. That is just so freaking beautiful, man. So beautiful um, that we have so much culture in one piece of land. And she was part of that. It's impacted me. I know not as an abuse survivor, it's women like her, people like her, that give me the strength to put myself and my opinions out there and to hopefully affect change, positive change into the world. Well, it's been more than 20 years now since her death, and there have been many tributes to her, including the movie with Jennifer Lopez. Uh, she was also at a, a big tribute concert for her uh, in 2005 on Univision that ended up being the most viewed Spanish language television special in the history of American television. I believe it. I just got chills when you said that though. Oh my gosh. I remember watching that. It was a giant concert where a lot of people just kind of sang tribute songs to her. And it was cool to see how her parents felt so proud that you know, because of their daughter's music, they created this entire show. What do you think it was about Selena that has caused her to remain relevant for well over 20 years now? Man, I feel like it's like any other American legend of music is like, she just left us wanting more. We're gonna say, man, what if? Just the person that she was and the, just how great her music is. As a celebrity, when they give back to the community, it means a lot because it shows that they care and they pay attention to their fans. Because of our, you know, political climate, things are heating up and it's really, you know, starting to get a little scary for, you know, people like me and, and our parents. Now more than ever, it's important for us who come from different backgrounds to really acknowledge um, you know, our culture and, and our ethnicities and who we are, and I think she is becoming a symbol for that. Finally, as time continues to pass, how do you hope future generations will look back on Selena? Oh, I hope they remember her as a pioneer of Latin, like, music. It could be a hundred years from now, and I'm pretty sure she'll still be, her music will still be popular. A lot of, um, big celebrities now, like, I know Jennifer Lopez has, like, credited her before, for, you know, kind of like paving the way. And I don't think that's something that people ever forget. They'll look back at her as a talent that was lost too early, but as someone who was trying to really truly be a good person, was an inspiration for young girls, um, and was an artist, just an all around artist and good human being. Muchas gracias por ver este episodio de Adults React. Nos vemos hasta la próxima. ¿Gustas lo que viste? Danos un like. Adiós. Te quiero mucho. Hey guys, Kyle here, producer at FBE. Thank you for watching this tribute to the legacy of Selena. What is your favorite Selena song? Let us know in the comments.